Alaska Airlines emergency has been ruled an accident, not an incident. That's the latest from the National Transportation Safety Board. And this morning, we're hearing that six flights at least have been canceled here in Honolulu because of that grounding. The cabin on Alaska Airlines flight 1282 depressurized after a section of the airplane cabin ripped off midair above Oregon. Pilots made an emergency landing in Portland. No major injuries were reported among the nearly 200 passengers on board. In a news conference, NTSB officials say the situation could have been a lot worse. No one was seated in 26 A and B, where, the, where that, door, that uh, door plug is. We could have end up with, ended up with something so much more tragic and re really fortunate that that did not occur here. The FAA ordered a temporary grounding of all Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft for further inspection. And that grounding is impacting travelers with more than a dozen flights canceled yesterday at Honolulu's airport. Our Eddie Dowd had the latest. Well, things are definitely a lot less chaotic here at the Daniel K. Inouye International Airport than they were Saturday morning when people first found out about those roughly 170 planes being grounded. We talked to several people who were coming in and out of Honolulu who were just hearing the news about that incident Friday night in the air. Is it still flying? Is the airplane still flying? Wow. This was the reaction from this passenger who arrived in Honolulu Saturday morning only hearing about the Alaska Airlines incident when we showed him the video. I could imagine being in the, in the airplane when that happened. Oahu resident Billy Alcady was supposed to fly back home on an Alaskan airline flight from Seattle when he got a notification early Saturday morning that his flight was canceled. Only two hours later did he find out it was one of the roughly 170 Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes that were grounded. I, I feel like it would have been important to know why, the exact reason. For me personally, I feel pretty concerned just because safety comes first. Those concerns were echoed by some travelers at Honolulu's Daniel K. Inouye International Airport. Personally, I wouldn't go on Alaskan Airlines because I'm thinking about my safety. But aviation expert Peter Foreman says it's not the airline, but the airplane manufacturer that needs to be looked at. Uh, this is a problem that came from the factory uh, on an airplane that uh, was brand new from Boeing. It has nothing to do with Alaska Airlines. And you know, some of the stories we keep hearing from people who had their flights canceled was that Alaska was able to rebook them, but on different airlines. That's kind of how they made up with all these flights that had to be canceled because of these grounded planes. Reporting in Honolulu, Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.